Ooh, look at this. Ah, oh, ah. Ooh, ah. That is hot. Now look, see what he did? He took a he took a leg strap from one of his pistol harnesses and and put the leg strap and the, you said the screws matched up. Mm -hmm. The screws that I had in the in the mount plate matched up. Now he's got a leg tie down. I mean that is that's as secure as it gets right there, man. Look at that. Unbelievable. And that's a leather elite. Very nice. Yellow Hawk Customs Leather Elite. I like that. I forgot, you know, I forget half the stuff that I do, you know, and then yeah. I see it years later. This one's what, five years old? Yeah. Very good. Very good. And there's Kiwi with her brand new ball. John brought her, bought her a ball. He was tired of listening to her. Hey. Don't chew it up. It's not for chewing. It's for chasing. Sit. Sit. Good girl. It's starting to rain. And it's getting pretty windy. It's like on and off. But it rained pretty hard a few minutes ago. So we're supposed to get a really hard uh, storm uh, in a couple hours so I had to uh, I had to pull the sides down from the tarp and now it's pretty weatherproof all but the hardest driving rain will be staved off by this wonder of mechanical achievement <laughs> <coughs> so I like putting up tarps. They're, you got to think about it, you know? You have to think about what you're doing. So th this tarp is the uh, winter tarp from Dutchwear Gear. And it's still nylon. It only weighs, it, I know it weighs less than two pounds. It's got doors on either end. Uh, it's like a pound something, which is really good for, you know, a big shelter like this. thing's huge. I mean, huge. It's the biggest tarp I've ever put up. So, and it got pretty windy a few minutes ago, and it was it was holding tight. It was holding tough. <laughs> yeah. Poplar bark drying on the line. Got some fresh dry firewood. As we know it's going definitely gonna rain rain. You got a couple of tarps as you know for four make a floor. There's Kiba's bed, that black blanket right there. She sleeps on that. There's a piece of uh blue ensolite foam underneath of it. Yeah. She loves it out here. That's why I bring her as much as I can. All right. And this is uh, John and Caitlin's camp. Um, we had another another person left this morning. Uh, Doc Mason. Uh, he might be back. I don't know. But uh, we were climbing with him yesterday, and I uh, I belayed him, and I had a good time. We had a really good time. John's jacket fell on the ground. <laughs> Gonna find a a hook for it. Here, this will work. And who makes this nice little jacket? Who knows? They just they brought a like a cabin tent. It's one of those uh, quick pop-up tents that folds up, and the poles are already in it. Pretty cool, man. 
Looks pretty weather worthy. Like the seams are taped. It's a piece of pine with a knot in it. Yeah, it's all knotted through it. Just be careful. Now, no, no law says you can't beat it on the back end too. Yeah. That's a pretty tough knife. That's a Delta Whiskey Infinity, right? Yes. Yeah. I beat on that handle all the time. I'm gonna leave that one as is. You keep bringing me these knotty things. Well, you're doing good. Very good. There you go. Need a little bit more blade to work with. Huge knot in it. Knife's not bent yet. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it doesn't get bent. Well, sometimes what happens is it's so tight in there that it does one of these things. Curves around right? it. Yeah, and, and, and you can actually see the blade bent. But <laughs> if it's got a good heat treat, as soon as you get it out, it'll spring back into shape again. If it doesn't, there's something wrong with your heat treat. <laughs> All right, we have to, might have to give up on this one. <laughs> it's going, it's slow. There it is. That is perfect. Still sharp. <laughs> Very good. So, <laughs> it's raining pretty good. It's actually downpouring. And there's Kiva on the ground. Ah, Kiva! <laughs> and we're pretty dry. It was a little misty for, for a second there, but... I took the trekking poles and kind of propped up the, the tarp and pushed it out just a little bit more so it wouldn't, uh, so the rain wouldn't spray on her because it was coming from that direction. It was windy. So. Then I put the chair in front of it, blocked a little bit of it. So she looks quite comfortable. There we go. A little bit more light. There's TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa. All right. I got my under quilt in here. And I got the bug net on because it helps keep things in the hammock. Kind of pushing my under quilt down where the where the foot box is, you know where the the foot end is. And uh, but it's not super cold out right now. It's supposed to get cold tomorrow, so it's probably about 55 degrees right now. But in here, it's significantly 
uh, warmer. Hey, what is that? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> wow. Go over here in the sun. Let me see. Let me check this out. How old is this one, John? Two. Two years old. All right, because it's got that's a tabby dangler. It was you converted it, right? Yep. You put that piece of leather on there. Yep. See, guys, you can you can do what you need to do with these systems if you you know if you don't like the way it is and it's easy to modify it go ahead and do it i'm not going to complain <laughs> you know it's you know some guys know what they want when i first build it and some guys don't so i send what i think will be good for you but you know john wanted a dangler that was what more stable yeah more stable so I could have done just a leg drop on this for him, but live and learn. Like, good, nice. That's the uh, Delta Whiskey Infinity. I've been seeing a lot of them lately. So we're going to be doing a new run with CPM3V. Probably January or February. I talked to LT Wright and his, his books are like totally booked up until then. So, I was like, all right, I'll wait. No problem. <coughs> Where's Kiva? Oh. There she is. Hello, baby. Her and her deer shit coat. <laughs> she was rolling in deer crap, I'll bet. John's the poster boy for the Delta Whiskey Infinity. <laughs> he does everything with this knife. Yeah, he brought his tops to Tahoma out here, but I haven't seen him use it yet. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. He does everything with this knife. I saw him carve an Indian head last night with this knife. <laughs> It'll be for sale next week. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. He's making us a steak for our little table that he built too. <laughs> It's awesome. John's a man of eclectic taste. <clears throat> what are you doing? That thing ain't going nowhere now. No, it's sturdy now. She's a sturd. And it's good for We rest. could put a like piece of wood here. Wedge it. Just shove anything, any piece of wood, shove it right in there. A stick. See if that's wide enough. Uh, Not it. Me, uh, a rock would do it. What Small are you finding down there, Tiva? We got so many sticks around here. No. You don't need that might work. Yeah. The yeah, that's weird. So. All right, cool. Very good. Yeah, it's not moving. <laughs> 
Tops to home a field knife. Take two. <laughs> hmm. It's a nice knife. Yeah. A lot of times I'll keep the wood together like this and just do two at once. Do uh, you know split two at one time? If you if you can get them to stay where they're supposed to be, if you do it on the ground, it usually works pretty good. This one got a knot. <coughs> Yeah, there's two at once. Now this thing's sharp as a razor blade. I'm not sure I like that blade on the front like that. It makes it hard to baton. <laughs> John, was that a false edge when you got it, or was it sharp? It was sharp. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not real keen on that. <sighs> Tops to home a field knife. Nice. Got choke up choil. I do believe in them. Very nice. Let's go. The tops to home a field knife. And John got a leathery leap for it. That is full grain leather over a fully functioning Kydex sheet. Did a good job. And he put a leg strap on it too. Good job. Here, check this out. It's got a little tab on the bottom of it, Stand right? Into the ground. Smack it into the ground and it, it like makes it more stable. A harder piece of wood. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. It's going. I can see it. There you go. Badass. Woods woman. <laughs> you guys, you should get your wives out here. Women like this stuff too. <laughs> Very good. That's really see, wet. You can actually see that it's wet inside, right? So it's probably laying in some water or some soggy ground. Super wet. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me see it. it it's like the core of it. Oh, this part? Yeah. Well, it, the the heartwood is yeah. usually what they call it. But, you know, you got your bark back here. This is the cambium layer right mm -hmm. here. Um, and usually it's just a really sh a thin, you know, thin layer. Mm. Um, but usually you call that the heartwood <laughs> the, all the way in the middle. And on poplar, the inside act is actually like cork. There's a cork inner. You can usually see it. This might be too old. It all yeah. looks like cork. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But on fresher pieces, it looks like cork in the middle. <laughs> There's our backpack and grill. pretty good we cooked on it last night or it was last night right so what we're doing now is we're waiting for this wood to burn down to coals 
and then we'll be able to cook on top of it for you know an hour or so you don't want any flame because <laughs> you're gonna burn your stuff as soon as you put it on there and then the inside doesn't get done so you got to kind of like slow roast them we got Johnsonville Italian sausage hello <laughs> Sir. <laughs> that's uh that's on 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 the menu tonight with Cuban let's see what we got here Cuban mustard look at that hmm hello what kind of rolls have we got Ah, Martin's potato rolls. Hello! <laughs> Kiwi's licking her chops. She said, where is mine? I got a pork chop for her. Yeah, she eats well. Pork chop. Chop. Put that. Like a Christmas present. All right. It's already cooked. I'm just gonna cook this some more. Hmm? Look good? Hello. I'm just heating it up for her. It doesn't matter if it gets black on the outside. She'll, she'll eat it. We need a pair of tongs to like roll stuff around, I think. I got chopsticks. <laughs> think that'll work? Or we just use a stick. Two of, uh, what, what's your what's your verdict, John? I mean, I got two forks, two sporks. Plastic though. Yeah. We'll figure it out. If you clamp it, do that. It's plastic. They'll probably melt. It's um cinematic means it doesn't have that fishbowl. Yeah. Yeah, that was that's new this year, I think. It doesn't have that fishbowl look because people were complaining about it. I so think why do you keep doing the fishbowl thing? Because I think when. It's fine when you're walking, but it looks like the ground. When I looked at it, like if you would kind of like do this or this or something, it looked like the ground was like moving. Right, I get it. Some people kind of got sick. Yeah. <clears throat> and it get fuzzy. It, um, GoPros really take a, a, a bit of time to get, you know, like I'm just starting to figure out what looks good. Yeah. Cinematic, and it depends on the light. If it's really bright, Mm -hmm. Then I pump it all the way down to 200, yeah. the, um, the bit rate or whatever, mm -hmm. um, and that darkens it up a little because if I don't, if it's up near 800 or whatever, Can't it's good. pixelated because yeah. it's too much sun. Yeah. So right now I'm shooting at 800 because it's, there's no sun here. They look good, guys, don't they? This is Johnsonville sweet Italian sausage. Hello. We worked up an appetite today. John did, definitely. Caitlin did, definitely. And I kind of worked up half an appetite. <laughs> Very nice. Watch out, don't pick nothing up. It'll make tip. <laughs> I got it, I got it. What do you think? Are they good? Mm. Oh, look at that. That's a manly meal right there. Hello. I don't want any I don't want any comments that deal with anything other than damn that sausage looks good, Doug. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to eat it. Let me see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, oh, mmm. Mm. 
It gets hot. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> good. Yep, you guys did good. Mm. The grill worked. Now I gotta clean it. <laughs> now we're doing this again tomorrow night, right? Yeah, we got another thing. We right. got pork chops too. All right. There's a real pretty stream that runs by the campsite here. It's gorgeous. This is where we take our water from. Gorgeous. I think I'm gonna sit here and have a little bit of instant coffee. Yep. <clears throat> This, uh, this this area that we're in now, the Misho State Forest in Pennsylvania, it's uh, it is a perfect area for wilderness camping, you know, because um, you can you can hike back into the woods and be miles from houses and cars and ruckus. Um, but we wanted to stay right by this Antietam Creek, so we can hear the road from here. So, I'm okay with that. Coffee. Folgers. I didn't get my Starbucks this time. I forgot. So, John and Caitlin were gracious enough to pick me up 6,000 of these Folger uh, instant coffees. <laughs> 6,000 of them. That's right, right? 6,000? Yeah, I think so. This is my whole whole powdered milk. Excuse me, excuse me, you're in my shot. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Yeah, I'm just going to have coffee, I think. I got a little sugar in my... Uh, Spices bag, you know, my, my accessory bag. I got, let's see, I got that, that brown sugar, the turbinado sugar. Pretty neat stuff. Excuse me, excuse me, you're in my shot. <laughs> okay, so, let's get, I always fix the coffee in the cup first. And get everything prepared because this thing boils water so quick. Yeah, it might not be done by the time it boils, and that's wasting fuel, you know. So my wash rag. Put this over here. I um, when I'm finished, I'll take the rest of the water here, and I'll uh, like dunk my rag in it, and have a warm face wash. That that like really makes me feel refreshed and cozy and beautiful in the morning get it what i'm saying 
Do you get what I'm saying? Alright. <clears throat> so, I actually don't need all this water. <clears throat> That should be enough. MSR reactor. It is extremely reliable. Even in the winter. Um, in the dead of winter, you know, I'd say below 20, you're going to have to put a, a windscreen around it so it keeps some heat in. Other than that, this thing works great. I've never had a problem with it. <clears throat> oh, the pants. You guys are asking about the pants. Um, they are Fall Raven Vita Pros. This is the largest size they sell. 40s. Go, go, just go. Thank you. Let's see if I can't. Like this stove. There it is. <laughs> I'm going to try to beat it. Ice in my cup. <clears throat> All right, there's that. Put the trash right back in the bag. A little milk powder on there. Powder. Powder. I like the green route for you too. Oh, okay, thanks. A little bit of powder. You want me to throw your ball? There we go, ready? Ooh. Well, alrighty. 
So here we go. Uh, she's pretty. She is pretty. I'm loving it. Hot coffee in the morning. I got the hot coffee in the morning. Here, but dear, but dear, but dear, but dear, but dear. There she blows. A nice, hot, steaming cup of joe. It's too hot to drink. Mm. Delectable. And that's how you fix a cup of coffee in the morning on the trail.